So we're just doing this uh, pretty awesome little tour of um, Peterborough Steamtown Museum and we're in the first class carriage. Real beautiful work of art. Some of the furniture is over 100 years old in it. Now we're going to go out and have a look at the turntable now. But a highly recommended little tour. What happens by looks of things is that um, when you uh, come on in, the, the, uh, the office women there bring you out to the tour and you just join in where they are and you just continue around and drop off when you finish, I think. But uh, around the uh, turntable and diesel area, um, you've got to be guided, so it's well worth the price of admission to get a little bit of a, a VIP uh, guided tour. Tour's moving on quick. We're just coming out of the scaling. It's where they basically bought a locomotive in and weighed each one of the axles for balance and things. Pretty amazing. Okay, so back out here too. We're over towards the round, roundhouse. Now the roundhouse was, uh, it's one of, a, it's, it is the only working roundhouse that has multiple gauges on it. So it's got the, uh, the narrow gauge, the standard gauge, and the broad gauge. So uh, a pretty cool looking roundhouse. We'll be in it later on tonight. There it is there. Cool little trip down here. We can get down into where they used to work on the trains. So you're actually down beside what would be like 109 odd ton of rail train, steam train. So it's, uh, you can still smell the grease. Obviously you've got a bit of sound effects, so it's pretty neat to be up and close. Put this one in. This is incredible. This is uh, a little uh, breakdown of uh, the pistons. So down the bottom here, we've got a little Ryobi. I don't know whether it's out of a weed eater or not, but uh, I reckon it's still pretty big for a weed eater. Over here, we've got a, a holding piston. And over here, piston out of a, a diesel electric, I think it is. Mate, that thing's as big as a 20 litre pail of water. <laughs> Massive. Need two of you to haul it out. All right, well, I don't know how much of that you're going to hear, but uh, I was going to do a little bit of uh, talking, but we're on a tour um, in um, Steam, Steam Town here. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, we will be back later on tonight for the night show, um, but just behind me is where the night show is going to take part. Now, that is the, the roundhouse. It's apparently the only one of its kind that is working that takes all three gauges of railway. So what did you have? The, the narrow, the standard, and the broad, I think they called it. So uh, just in case we don't get too much footage there later on tonight, um, yeah, they did, there it is in the background. So pretty amazing, and um, the tour definitely well worth it, well in depth. And uh, look forward to seeing a little bit more about the history uh, later on tonight. So that's uh, Steam Train in Peterborough. Pretty awesome. Here we are at our night showing. Obviously, it's not going to show too well. No. Not too good at all. We're going into our carriage. It's a good morning, and uh, what a great time in uh, Peterborough. Sorry if I've mentioned Petersborough. Um, we had a fantastic time. Um, that steam town, guys, if you're ever there, 
it is worth it. I was a little bit worried thinking, wow, it's going to be pretty expensive. It was 27 odd dollars here and another 25 odd dollars there or something for the day or the night. But they do a, a package as well. And um, if you stay there at the RV park, it's free. So therefore, you know, you probably saved yourself $45 from staying at a caravan park. Um, they are there if you do want a caravan park. Um, and I put that money into um, us going to that show and the daytime show was absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. I think Shirley took us around. She is a legend and to think that she uh, just keeps on going around and around and around. Oh, my legs were so exhausted just for yeah, following her the way it was. And then the night show just put everything back together again that she was saying into um, a beautiful movie. It was um, really, really well done. Anyway, so look at it. It's great. Peter's Peter Barra was awesome. So if you love what we're seeing here, remember to tick that like, subscribe, and follow button, and share it to your friends as well. And next destination coming up. Right, we'll come down from Peterborough to Jamestown. It's not far. Um, and I don't know whether many of you need an introduction, but Jamestown was the birthplace of R.M. Williams. Now, up until now, R.M. Williams to me was a, was a hat, a pair of boots, a bumper sticker that I saw on lots of cars, some clothing. Didn't know the fact about the man. I didn't even know what R.M. stood for in, in the Williams. Original Murray Williams. I'm sorry guys if you're going like, oh duh. He was born here um, 1908 in Jamestown, obviously on the farm. And um, over the time he uh, went in search for a um, better source of water with the help of the Aboriginal people. And I think he uh, covered from north of Clare all the way up to Hawker. And we've just traveled the RM Williams way. So that was, um, remember us at uh, Craddock um, where the, uh, the hat was, which I called the RM Williams hat, I think. Um, we've just followed that down, which is part of the Explorer way as well. So, uh, yeah, and then he got into, yeah, during that, he got into um, making some belts or something. He liked uh, putting his hand to uh, making some leather belts. And then he met up with a guy that was really good with uh, leather, and he taught uh, Reginald Murray Williams all there was to know about Williams and next, uh, leather. And then next thing you knew, he was popping out these fantastic boots that all these other cowboys around here wanted. Uh, they had uh, elasticated little uh, bits in the middle. And then he was doing saddlebags and clothing and bits and pieces. So um, he died in 2003 at the uh, great age of 95. And um, yeah, there we have it, the legend. Now next time I see a bumper sticker or a, a window decal, I can put where he came from. Right, on to our next destination.